before we get started, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more videos from us, okay? All right, this week we're doing arm drag. So last week we did arm drag from our knees and from sitting down like butterfly guard, stuff like that. This week, since you guys have, and most of you have a little bit of familiarity with it, we're gonna do it from standing and how to get a takedown from an arm drag, okay? So this is a super powerful position. A lot of times when we're here fighting, we end up like hand fighting, working for like grips and working for wrist and hand control, whether we have gi or no gi, doesn't matter. But the idea is when we're hand fighting kind of thing, I'm gonna get the wrist on the same side, and then I get his arm behind this arm, okay? And now what I wanna do in the first one, I wanna show two versions of it. The first one is where he kind of goes where I want him to go. The second one is when he kind of responds with trying to back away from me, okay? Because what I want is I want him to kind of go in that direction, okay? So the first one is when that happens, when I, he does what I kind of expect him to do, okay? So I get this and I get behind his arm. Now remember I said last week, if I have this grip, it feels like I don't have anything, but of course his reaction is to bend and kind of pull and that gives me that, that grip, okay? So I get here, I'm gonna pull. My right foot, in this case, my right foot is kind of got to go between his legs, okay? So I'm going to kind of sit like this, right? And now, because his reaction is, came at me, I'm going to now shoot and try and collect his legs. Okay? So here, hand fighting, here, here. I dropped my, to my right hip almost. Boom. And now I can go. Okay? So far, so good. One more time. Here we're hand fighting. Get that grip. Drop. Okay, and now I can climb up to the top. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and show the second one. Okay. You choose which of the two if you want to do one or you both how you like. Okay. The second one, when I get this position, I start to pull, he pulls back, right? It's a pretty normal reaction that I expect. So when I go to like drop. Okay, what I'm gonna do is again, stick that right foot between his legs, and I'm gonna use it as a trick. Okay, so we're here hand fighting. I'm gonna go here, and you see what I did? Is I just wrap around behind the back of that leg. Okay, so we're here fighting. This way. So instead of him coming that way, trying to run away, he tries to back straight up. When he does that, that same leg I dropped, hooks around his foot and I'm able to push over his leg. So slow, kind of boom, drop, and then I push here. And you see it kind of traps at his heel. My weight, pressure on his leg, pushes him back. Clear? What's the one thing you need to say in the first one as well? Why not in the first one? Because his, his energy is going this way. So my hip is still there, my leg is still ready for that. So I, as soon as I pull, I feel what he's wanting to do. Does that make sense? So if I feel he's just gonna go, I'm gonna go that way with him. If I feel, because I have this feel, right? If I feel what he's doing, then I'm gonna go with whatever he's doing, right? So I'd have to adjust much, except for kind of a little bit where I put my foot, but it's essentially the same, okay? If I, if I just kind of hook, I try this, and he goes that way, now I have to like go chase him, right? So but by doing, throwing that foot in between him, Okay, on the first one, right, I'm coming up. Okay, because I feel he's already kind of turning to run that way. Make sense? Any questions? Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to get both. If I get one, I get one. Okay, now that's another one of my follow-up question. If I can't get both this one? Yeah, if I hit here, boom, and I just hit the one, it's okay. Right, now you have, you've done some light stuff. Right, any other questions, guys? All right, let's try it. Make sure you have lots of space. 